This right here is the brand new LD Any 10 wireless battery powered speaker with wireless mics built in and wireless storage in this handle. This thing's amazing. Let's get into it. Full disclosure, LD sent me this speaker to review prior to the release. So there's the transparency part. LD did give me this speaker for free to try out, have all that good stuff. So take that with whatever grain of salt you want. But we're gonna go through. This is the LD Systems NE10. They also have a NE8. I do not have my hands on the NE8, but that one does not have wheels. It's more compact, but same things apply. So in this video, I'm gonna go through everything there is about the LD NE10. I'm gonna go take you guys around it, show you all the features. It is a complete battery power speaker with wireless mics built into the speaker and a full compact mixer on the back of the speaker. Then I'll also tell you guys all the specs of the NE8 that hopefully I can get my hands on to review as well. It has some of the similar features, some lesser, some more, etc. And then we will basically do a quick little sound demo of the LD NE10 and I'll give you guys my thoughts on and opinions on the speaker because there are some things that I've already told LD that I want them to make some changes to this speaker. But let's go ahead and take a walkthrough of the LD speaker. So on the front of the speaker, we have a solid metal grill. It is a all plastic enclosure, but it is built very stout. Like it does not feel cheap whatsoever. Going around the side here, we do have these molded handles on the side here to pick it up with. That is awesome. Both sides, we have the wheels here at the bottom that allow it to be rolled. On the bottom itself though, we do have a couple feet and we do have a pole mount so you can put it up on a speaker pole. If we tilt it back, there is two integrated handles. So there's a nice handle right here with a rubber textured grip to grab a hold of it. And we have the wheeling kind of like a luggage handle that extends pretty far. And this again also does not seem like it's built cheap, but this does seem like if there was anything to fail down the line, it would be this handle. But that does kind of go down and it locks into place so you can actually grab onto this as well. On the top, we also have a tablet holder so you can put your tablet or phone right there. And we have a hidden compartment that stores your wireless microphones that are built into this as well as the antennas, which we'll get into in a bit. On the back here, you have a complete six channel mixer. Yes, six channels. Two of those channels being these wireless mic units up here that you can take these modules in and out. Currently right now they shipped it to me with only one module in it, but I could literally unscrew this and put a second module and have two wireless mics built into it, and that is your fifth and sixth channel. Below the sixth channel mixer, you do have the battery door right down here, and this has two batteries inside of it. So once you unscrew the screw for the battery compartment, you can take it off. It does have a metal uh, frame on it, which is pretty nice. It's a plastic lid, but it does have a metal frame to hold that together, so that way, you know, the batteries can't damage the plastic. But these are the batteries, and you can slide them out potentially just like so so these are your battery bricks and there is two batteries in here and you can swap these out pretty easily as well and then this just goes back on and screws down and it is a thumb screw it has this little like I don't even know what you call it hook on the outside that allows you to easily screw it in getting up close with the back mixer of the NE10 we have two slots for two different microphones these are modules that you can actually purchase and swap in and out if need be I currently have one that they ship me with I can also put a second one in here as well these are single diversity microphones meaning there's only one antenna for the microphone that is a con that I'll talk about in my opinions later on and it is a selectable channel so there are 12 12 channels, one through 12. You can select whatever one you want. You can easily sync it. You can also adjust your gain right here with a little Phillips screwdriver, and you have your volume knob to control it. This is gonna be your input five, input six, and there's no scanning on the mics. It's a very, very basic, simple microphone. The frequencies, though, are set for basically standard America frequencies in the 400, 500, so you don't have to worry about, these aren't like the old school mics that are running in the 600s. So the frequencies are good, you just don't have a scannability feature in this, which I'll talk about later in my opinions. And single diversity, simple microphone, very simple setup for the wireless microphones that are built into this unit, but pretty sick 
to have them built right into the speaker and not externally. Moving down, we do have a full display right here with a control to basically go through and adjust all of the different settings, which we'll get into in a second. Beside it, you also have an effect knob to adjust effects, whether it's reverb or some other stuff. We'll get into it as well when we get into the menu screen. Input wise, these are your one through four down here. So one and two are both switchable mic line inputs with quarter inch XLR combos. Pretty sick to have this full capability on the back of the mixer. Input 3.4 is going to be pretty much all of your music aux availability. So you can do an aux 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here. You can do RCA inputs or you can pair Bluetooth to it and you have a separate volume knob for the Bluetooth independent of the 3.4 knob. Pretty cool. Below that, you have your battery indicator, just four bars to indicate how much battery you have. LD is claiming that you can get 24 hours of battery on the NE10. I have not had this thing long enough to do full battery testing, but I can tell you since we got it, we charged it up and we've been playing it nonstop here in the warehouse just for background music. We literally just charged it for the first time. It was down to, I think, two battery notches left. But right above that, you do have a USB-C out that is powering five volts two amp output level. And this is good to basically power um, if you have a tablet, if you have a phone that you need to keep charged, that you're playing your music from, um, you can easily plug it in here and keep it charged. Down below here, this is more for my musicians. There is a foot switch input, a quarter inch, I believe it's quarter inch foot switch to basically turn on and off the effects. So we'll get into that in the menu, but there's a bunch of different effects built into this and you can use a foot switch to turn those on and off. I'm imagining this is more for like a guitarist to basically turn on and off um, reverb or something that they might be doing on those levels or vocals, etc. You do have a mix out quarter or um, XLR right here. And then over here is your power plug-in. So you have just a standard IEC input to power it. There's a fuse. And then the switch is kind of interesting. It is on off and then down is charge. It's not like you plug it in and it starts charging. You actually have to turn it to the charge mode to charge the batteries down below that we looked at or turn it on or off. So nice switch though. Now let's look at this menu screen. All right, so it boots up with the LD logo. So you can quickly reference all of your input levels right here on the main screen. Pretty easy to do. This knob over to the right that I'm positioning is basically your menu knob. So I can adjust the main volume all the way up to plus 12 or all the way down to like negative 80. <laughs> but for the most part, you will be running this pretty much at zero and then adjusting your gains below. So if we click in, we get to the menu. Uh, first option is Bluetooth. This is running the latest Bluetooth 5.0 good to go there so you can turn that to pairing mode to pair a device to it. You also have Bluetooth linking so you can link another NE10 to have a stereo sound system. Pretty freaking sick. So that you can basically have two of these running cocktail, running ceremony, etc. And I'll talk about my opinions what I think this is best for. Go back to menu, we can go to audio. We have a full three band EQ here. You have some presets for music, live, vocal, echo, and flat. We got it on music right now. But you you can actually adjust the EQ yourself between high, mid, and low. You also have a delay if you want to do that, and you can adjust the polarity of your inputs, which is pretty cool. So lots of different features to basically be able to use. If we go down to effects, you have different effects types you can use. Again, this might be for people that want to add some reverb to their voice or instruments, etc. But you have small, large, and plat reverbs and a delay. And then you have the FX sends, so you can adjust the actual effects level and where it's being sent to. But you also have an effects knob over here that you can adjust them with as well. Pretty cool stuff. And then in the settings, you basically can do the LCD, dimming it on and off. If you want it to basically dim over time, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, all that good stuff. And then of course, info and factory reset. That is all the settings on the back screen. So I'm going to pick this up and set it down so we can look at the basically the mic storage inside of it. Um, different ways to do it. Again, we have two side handles right here. It is a little back heavy because of the batteries. It kind of wants to lay more like this when you're holding it. So sometimes it is a little bit easier to grab one of the two handles on top. Again, you have a handle here that you can grab. And this thing does have a considerable weight to it. So we're gonna go measure it on the scale because they didn't actually put it on the specs. Um, we'll see how much it weighs. And then of course, the 10 is on wheels. 
and we'll get into the any eight in a second on the differences but one of the biggest differences on the any eight is there is no wheels and it is a smaller more compact with a handle on top so we'll get into that in a second but i want to basically show you guys the mic storage on this. So like I was showing you guys right here is the two different handles. There is a button to basically be able to lift this up and it will lock all the way up and it will lock all the way down so that you can use it as a handle. But there is a nice molded handle here too with some rubber grip, tablet holder, and then right here, push this little tab and voila, pops up the mic storage. So your antennas can easily store on top. You have to hook these up to the back. And then the slots here, if I pan up and over, are designed to either hold a handheld mic, which we have here, good to go or it can also hold the lapel if you wish to use these with lapels so you can either do two handhelds two lapels one lapel one handheld but nice that the storage is integrated right into the speaker basically making it an all-in-one compact ready-to-go unit to do pretty much anything audio wise I mean you can make announcements you can play music you can plug in instruments Pretty cool stuff with this speaker. Pretty cool ideas from LD. The microphone itself is a very simple made microphone and I only have a handheld so I don't have the lapel here to show you that unit. But it's a very simple on, off, and you got a light right there to indicate that it is on. On the bottom, this is where you can sync it so you pair this up with the mic unit and you can sync the different frequencies between it. You open this up, unscrew it, and very simple, just two AA batteries go into the mic. You have a high-low switch here for basically a hot mic or a low mic, and you also have a gain adjustment here that you can use basically like a little tiny straight screwdriver to adjust the gain. Uh, again, very, very simple mic. Not many people are going to make any adjustments out of the box with it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, it does say on the label here, this model is the frequency range of 470 to 489 megahertz, which is perfect for us here in America. You'll get little to no interference with this mic. So now let's go ahead and wheel this over to our weight scale that we have here in the warehouse. Let's see how much it weighs. And I will say the wheels are phenomenal. Like this thing can wheel over some stuff. They're pretty big. We took it outside and rolled it over some gravel. It does scratch up the bottom a little bit when you're going over like some bigger gravel, but wheels and everything, very nice, smooth, easy to move around. All right, so we have our calibrated weight scale right here that we use to ship all of our Bowflighting USA products. But let's put her up here and see how much she weighs. So it's on 39.8 pounds. So pretty much a 40 pound speaker. Again, this is the Any 10 and I don't have an Any 8 here to show you. So before we get into some sound demos so you guys can hear uh, how this speaker sounds, I wanna go through all the specs on the Any8 that is also being released with this speaker. So in looking over the spec sheet that they sent over to me, it's a rough spec sheet. I, I did overlook some of the like the statistical stuff. The batteries are both 5,000 milliamps, so there's two of them, so you have 10,000 milliamps of battery on this speaker. That's what's giving you what they claim 25 hours, up to 25 hours of music playback. More than enough for 90% of the events we're gonna be doing. Again, haven't actually done field testing yet to prove that. Also, it takes 3.5 hours to charge from zero to 80%, so I would imagine a full charge it's going to be four hours to get it from zero to 100 if you need to charge it up. And uh, there is a cover surround for this speaker. So it's kind of like a surrounded cover and it is a nylon water repellent cover. So with that cover, you could use this, say, for like an outdoor cocktail or ceremony situation. And if a light rain started to come down, you would be protected. A full on downpour, though, I mean, the whole thing would be canceled anyway. So you just take it down. So differences between the Any 10 and the Any 8 that is also coming out. The Any 8 will have other color options. It'll come in black. It'll also come in all white. It'll come in a black grill with a green surround and a black grill with a tan surround. I'm guessing those colors are gonna be to try and mimic the outdoor environments that it might be sitting in, such as green foliage behind it or a tan dirt style backdrop of some sort, but it will be also coming in white and black options for the Any8. The Any8, as I mentioned, will not have this handle on top and it will not have wheels. It'll just have one single handle on top for you to be able to 
to be able to move it around. Of course, it will be smaller, it will be lighter. I don't have those exact specs for you guys in terms of that. On the back of the NE8, you will have the exact same mixer console. This is supposed to be the same between the NE10 and the NE8. The only difference is you will only have one wireless microphone on the NE8, you will not have two. So the 10 has two wireless mic slots, and the NE8 has one wireless mic slot. Also, battery-wise, on the NE8, you'll only have one battery versus the NE10, you have two batteries. So, NE10, they're claiming 25 hours of battery life, and the NE8, they're claiming 11 hours of battery life. Again, haven't done full-on battery drain testing or any of that, but I can tell you we've been playing it at moderate volume here in the shop for days on end using Bluetooth and the thing has barely moved a couple notches on the battery. So I think it's pretty stout when it comes to battery. And I think the NE8 will also be very well off on battery, similar to say the LD Systems Maui 5 Ghost that we already are using currently for our ceremony and cocktail audio solutions. That NE8 will also have a bag that it goes in. Um, so it'll just be a bag that basically zips up around the NE8 to be able to protect it and transport it. So now let's hook up some Bluetooth audio to this and test out the wireless microphone so you guys can hear what the NE10 sounds like. I determined that I am probably deaf because it actually was considerably loud, but I was like, can it go any louder? But I've also been listening to like the Maui 44 uh, G2s at my events for the last little bit. So what do you think sound wise? I'm loving the sound. The bass is something that I always look for when it comes to speakers, especially battery powered speakers, mobile speakers. And that 10 inch bumps. Bumps. The and 10 inch bumps. And I mean, that was that max volume, right? Yeah, it was, that max, was max volume. I mean, for what it, 10 inch, that's that's what you need. I think I'm gonna hook up a five go and see what it sounds like in comparison. That'll be a good, now that will be a good tester right I there. I think we're gonna grab the five go, which has an eight inch sub in the bottom, but it's a column array. Right? So is it a fair review? Cause well, I don't know how much this costs. I will also preference that. I don't know what the cost is. It's brand new speaker. They sent it to us to do a review. Um, to get you guys the content on it. Of course, uh, you know, they gave it to us, so take that out for a grain of salt, all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hook that up too, so I can do a little A to B real quick. So, hooked up a LD Systems Maui 5 Go here because this is currently the speaker I'm using. And I wanna do a little comparison to see which one I think sounds better and is louder. So, I'm gonna play some of the same songs I was playing and uh, see how loud it gets. Turn down this world of music. If you don't like to party, then you better leave. We also just got complained because it's Tuesday morning that we're shaking walls, whatever. It's it's all good fun in the warehouse. But yeah, we've set up the Maui 5 Go, we're playing it, and honestly, it's a, it's a toss-up with these two speakers um, in comparison. It's, it's nice to see that this one stacks up against this because this is what I'm looking as a replacement speaker for that. If I was looking to basically purchase these two, which one of these two I would pick. So to sum it up, these are different design speakers. You have basically your traditional style speaker here, 10 inch woofer, tweeter, and you have a column array here with a bunch of tweeters up top and a separate sub on the bottom. Um, it is an eight inch versus a 10 inch sub. I do want to give the base category, honestly, to the NE10. That 10 inch actually hits a little harder than that eight inch sub down there, even though you, you have to kind of crank that eight inch sub to the max to be able to compete with what this speaker is doing at like flat line. On the highs and mids, I do think there's a little bit more of the Maui 5 go. Nonetheless, volume wise is very, very similar between these two speakers, which is good to see. And now let's get into my opinions on the any 10 speaker or the any line in general. Uh, one, I don't have the eight inch speaker, but personally I think that eight inch speaker might be what more, 
more well suited for a lot of the things that we are doing. One of the biggest things I'm already looking at is using the any eight as a cocktail speaker. When we have a lot of these events where cocktails in a separate area from the ceremony, because it has that one wireless microphone, I can turn the wireless mic on, make a quick announcement. I have all the inputs and outputs I need to basically run the music for the cocktail session of the evening. Uh, just overall, I think that's a solid option. The any 10 now has the two wireless microphones built into it. Um, it's got the storage and everything. And let me tell you, when they first th told me about this speaker before I got it in hand, I said, this right here might replace my whole entire ceremony rig. As you guys know right now, I have a separate audio rack. If you haven't seen, I have a whole video on my current ceremony system. We are using the LD Systems Maui 5 Go right here. We have a separate mic rack that has two wireless mics in it. We're using a Jackery battery to power that with a Yamaha little mixer. It's a lot of components. And this thing, paper-wise, has everything you need to do a damn ceremony. You literally need this and a speaker stand, and then they make a little clamp-on mount to the back of the speaker stand that you can put your like iPad to play the music or your laptop, and you can literally run the whole ceremony with just this speaker. Now, there are some cons to the speaker as to why I will not be moving it over just yet, but I have been talking to my friends at LD Systems to see if we can make this happen. Speaker-wise, it is perfect for what I wanted to do. This 10-inch this speaker, battery-powered, amazing. The battery output on this is also amazing. Like, the battery life is perfect for what we need in a ceremony. It's got a handle so you can easily wheel it out to wherever the ceremony may be. You just need one speaker stand, good to go, and a little um, stand to basically hold your iPad. Literally, you can fit all that in a backpack, speaker stand, roll the speaker out, good to go for your ceremony. Two wireless mics built right into it. These are not good enough for my standards at a ceremony. And this is where I'm talking to LD about how we might be able to make some changes because these wireless mics are modules. You can take this module in and out. What I need is scannable mics. So if this mic, as I talked about earlier, has just 12 selectable channels, we could get a separate tool and scan the area for what frequencies are available. That's a little more involved than I would like, but if they could make this a scannable mic, this would be a game changer. If this was a scannable mic, and I think the mics need to be a little more high quality, at least on the lapel side, to be doing the level of ceremonies. Currently, right now, you know, we have basically $900 mics. These mics are more like kind of what you would find in like a $200, $300 mic. Um, so I would rather that, like this is an all plastic built mic. I would rather this be all metal. Same thing with the lapels. I wish they were a little more higher quality. I don't have a lapel on me, so there's that. So those are the changes I wish that we could make with this speaker is to upgrade these microphones. If that could be a thing that this module could be upgraded, if I wanted to buy the higher end mics, that would be amazing. Also, I'd like to see a true diversity microphone. Right now, it's just a single antenna microphone, but I would like to see true diversity with dual antennas A and B for both microphones. If that was all put together, this thing would be the game changer of game changers for ceremony audio for the DJ industry. So I am pushing LD to make these changes and comment down below what you guys think as well. Overall though, down on the mixer side, this thing is phenomenal, phenomenal. I can't stress that enough. It has everything that you need. I literally could use this current speaker with my uh, microphone rack and hook my two current wireless microphones right into mic one, mic two, and this could be my backup mic to make quick announcements potentially, which I might try out at an upcoming wedding here soon. But I mean, you have your Bluetooth input, you have your aux input, you have your RCA inputs, everything you need. I mean, foot switches for all the musicians out there, effects, even the uh, USB-C out to power whatever device you're using for the ceremony. This thing has a lot going for it. I, I gotta be honest, it, it has a lot going for it. And I'm excited to see where LD takes this new line of speakers, this any series. I think they could really shake up the marketplace, kind of like what they've done currently with the the Maui, the column arrays, they've been shaking up the market and the industry. I mean, a lot of people are switching over to those LD systems, Maui 44 G2s and the Maui 28 G3s. I mean, we have them, we love them, they're amazing. 
Um, I'm not sponsored by LD in terms of those speakers. We, we purchased all that. We purchased our Maui 5 Go's. We purchased all this. But I am glad that LD is recognized and is working with us because they sent us the NE10 trial. Overall, I think that's um that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the full first look. I'm going to call it a first look of the... LD Systems NE series. This is the NE10. They also have the NE8 and I'm excited to see where LD goes with this series. Like I said, could be shaking up the industry once again. Um, but yeah, leave it down in the comment section down below what you guys think of this speaker. Uh, what changes do you want to see? Is there any features that need to be changed? Any different things? What do you like about the speaker? Don't like about the speaker? I've already kind of talked about mine. It's mostly on the microphone side. If they can make better microphone modules that I could buy to upgrade this speaker. Game changer. It would be amazing. Anyways, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button so you can see all the new videos coming out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, keep the record spinning. Peace.